have it. Hi, everyone. It's Patricia here, and I hopefully I'm live on Facebook with the lovely Laura. Um, Laura, um, so good to see you in real life. I know we've had messages, and um, I'm excited. Next week, I'll be talking to you on the other the other way. You're going to be interviewing me, so I'm excited about that. But where are you today, Laura? I'm in Aberdeen in northeast Scotland. Gorgeous, amazing, amazing. And um, so tell us, um, how long is it since you joined Powerhouse? Yeah, so I joined back in, I think it was the summer of 2020. So of course, everyone's stuck at home and, you know, nowhere else to go, really feeling the strain of being you know the seeing the same four walls all the time with your family and um you were running well the similar event back then and it was just a breath of fresh air and I think it was I would say it was your energy and enthusiasm for this work I was already doing self-development work anyway um I'm experienced working with energy because I'm a yoga teacher and I practice Reiki and all the rest of it so it wasn't too out there for me or too woo woo. You know, totally got what you were saying, and um, I also love the fact that you weren't kind of like as you would call it the feng shui. Oh, my screen's gone weird. You know, it's a very strange color. And <laughs> I'll get that's not very odd. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, sorry. So yeah, you as you would say the feng shui police. You're not, you know, really strict, and and I thought that was really refreshing because sometimes you know you read about these things and it's like oh, a few too many rules for me. I don't know if I can cope with this, you know. But uh, yeah, I just love the whole approach, so I jumped in. Um, yeah, back in 2020. Amazing, amazing. So tell me this. Um, what was the thing that kind of led you into joining? I know, like you kind of was it the was it COVID or was it just that interest or yeah. I was very aware that I, actually at the same time that um, I was following you and your work uh, and I was doing the self-development work, I, I discovered that my environment is really crucial to like my success, basically, like how I feel. And I think we can all relate to this to an extent. I mean, you just know when your environment isn't supporting you. And I just had these niggles and I suppose I'd been ignoring them. And there is no coincidence that things just sort of drop into your life at the right time, do they? So along came this opportunity and I just thought, yeah, I think it's time to really sort this out because I'm not a particularly tidy person. I'd love to be tidy. I'd love to be tidy and organized. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> yeah, I, thought, <laughs> I had, you know, I had clutter and I was like, oh God, I've really got to sort myself out. I'd already worked with a person, um, what do you call them, a professional organizer for a little bit who, you know, surely got me started on this as well. And this felt like the next logical step to just um, see if I could improve my surroundings since we're going to be spending so much time at home at that moment in time. And yeah, that's, that's why I'm, that's why I'm here. Um, was there anything in particular that you wanted to kind of see or unfold out of it? Um, like, you know, a lot of our people come in and they're like, oh, my God, I need to sort out my financial situation. Like, it sounds like it's a, or or I need to my family or there's like a, an issue. Was there anything in particular that you were like, oh, I'm interested in seeing this unfold or, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And it, I, I would say it was um, a little bit about just more harmonious relationships within the family. I thought that would be really helpful. It was beginning I felt that there was bickering and and you know kids getting grumpy with each other and I thought that would be a really nice area to try and um, resolve and see if it could be more harmonious but also my own sort of professional life as well because I had before Covid struck had been teaching yoga you know left right and center I'm sure you can relate to this lugging all your stuff <laughs> the area that like, I've had enough of this I've had enough of this and I had joined a coaching program in the January of that year and that was sort of you know, got me started on this path of opening up ideas and I guess I was just trying to find my place and, and what my role was going to be and what I wanted to do going forward and I just thought you know if I can my home can support me in that and just getting some clarity that would be wonderful so that was that they, those were my main reasons I love it. I love it. I love it. And um, what's unfolded since? I... <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, do you know what's funny? I have to confess as well that 
I mean, I wasn't all one of these all in people because mm. you, there's a mix, right? You've got like so many different types of people in your uh, community. And I was one of these, I was dabbling a little bit here and I was doing a little bit there, but um, I was still, I think this is an important message to anyone who's sort of on the fence about it as well. Just having the intention and the belief in this work is sometimes enough to get wins. I didn't have all my remedies in for a long time, but I was doing bits and pieces and we were still seeing changes in our life. And I thought that was really powerful. And, you know, the more that this begins to happen, the more that you're like, oh, my God, I really want to like keep going with this. Oh, imagine if I got that cupboard cleared out, what would happen? You know, it began to be really quite fun. So um, some of the sort of bits and pieces that had improved, I guess, were um, financially, we were um, seeing a difference. We'd invested our some savings in the premium bonds, you know, the pre national yeah. savings premium bonds. And every month they have a draw and the biggest prize is like a million pounds. But I haven't won a million pounds, but, you know, I'll be happy the day that happens. <laughs> but we were consistently every month winning prizes. Every, I think we've had since 2020, we've had two months where we haven't won anything. And it might oh. be 25, might be 25 quid one month. And then the next month it's, it's more than, you know, nothing like mental. But when you add it up. It's more than you're getting in savings at the bank, say. So that was um, that was amazing. That's so fun. I just love it. Like every month we're just winning. <laughs> yeah, it sounds mental, and it, but it's true. And that was, it was just like, wow, <laughs> you know. And then just, yeah, we were beginning to just find that everyone was a little bit happier and, yeah, relationships improving. And I certainly was being able to see my path unfold a bit more clearly work-wise as well. You know, I qualified to become a, a soul coach, a life coach, but, you know, um, incorporating my yoga and so on. And um, yeah, things have just been unfolding. And I've actually got something to share from this weekend, a win. So um, as I say, I was very slow to get my remedies in place and all the rest of it. And this new uh, year we're in now, I I, I'm so on it, you know, I'm determined. And our fame and reputation area is in our sort of daughter's bedroom, okay. And there's not meant to be any fire in there. And of course, she she had this hot pink, bright pink wall. And I'm like, oh, I know that's, I know that I shouldn't really have that. <laughs> oh. and, and this weekend, I decided, right, I'm gonna. I'm going to clean, I'm going to sort this out, everything, clean around the window, everything all beautiful, and we're going to paint it totally neutral. So we did that because she was away for the whole weekend on a, a four day diving competition, springboard diving, platform diving, and um, which she absolutely adores, and but she's never kind of won anything major. So um, I get the wall all painted and then I'm following her progress. I mean, this was mental bronze medal silver medal uh, she like, what she's never won <laughs> she and then it's because it's, I don't know if it, is it because I painted her wall it's in her bedroom I like to think that you know we were supporting her in a different way it was just incredible and then she got back last night and I'm already thinking this this kid needs loads of rest I thought I'm just going to maybe send her back to school today lunchtime or something I'll let her have a lie in no she's up she's I don't want to, no, I'll just go and get the school bus as normal. I'm like, oh, you're full of energy today. Normally she's really quite sluggish in the morning and a bit tired, but you know, she went into her bedroom after it had been painted You get when she got home yesterday and she's like, oh, it feels really different, you know, so. I, I actually had shivers of my whole body when you told me about the winds. I was just like, oh my God, that is so <laughs> No, I know. It's got to be related, right? <laughs> like when you change your environment, something changes, like things change, like that's actually it. So those subtle things and um, are, you know, are big as well. Like, you know, for yeah. her confidence, her energy, like that's amazing. Yeah. So that, that was one of the, the recent things. And um, I just thought that what a great opportunity to share with everyone as well. And I'm, I'm like I say, still working through it. I've still got things that I need to do, but just having the intention and the faith and the belief in this without 
kind of clinging on to hope like oh I really want to manifest such and such in my life just kind of letting go a little bit because I think that causes resistance doesn't it when you sort of cling yeah. on to hope so tightly sure. and it's like that trust as you place the remedies in and as you balance you just like now I know that I'm this house is supporting me so what's to unfold and how it works and how it flows it's is is working yeah yeah definitely definitely so it's a really fun journey as well I have to say um I like reading everyone's wins every week in the Facebook group and I'm becoming getting a bit more active in that myself now because there was a while where I sort of came off Facebook a little bit because it can be a bit overwhelming and loud loud sometimes and I, I like to take a little break and that's something else that I would share with anyone considering joining that the beauty of this program is you can be as engaged and involved in that way as you want because you the whole portal is a completely different system so you can quietly follow along at your own pace and study and that's what I've been doing I've still got things to work through but I just use that time wisely and and make sure I enjoy it and really embrace what I'm learning and let it soak in and then go on and and make the the changes I absolutely love that. And I'm just thinking of like one, one lady, um, Michelle McDonald. She only posted in our members group once, like once. She only posted once. And to this day, there's no way we would have known that she had such massive success. But our team said, let's talk to some of our members about like why they joined and how they, you know, so we'd some of the team call a few of them. And Michelle happened to be someone recently. So Ken was talking to Michelle and saying like, you know, how could we improve it? Why did you join? Um, yeah. And she started giving the feedback. And, and then she said, oh yeah, well, my son, my son won, uh, Ken heard at 16,000, um, like after doing one of the, after starting. And um, and he said, wow. And Ken was like, wow, that's amazing. Like how you, like, that's amazing. So she just got it. It's like a, a little like throwaway comment. Like since I did the feng shui, my son won 16,000. So Ken and I, so Ken said to me, oh, that woman, Michelle, like her son. I was like, oh my God, like, that's massive. I'd love to talk to her. So I would never have known because she doesn't post in the winds. She doesn't do, she just did her, got her report, watched her videos, had one question. And I don't know why I remember, but I remember her one question because her profile picture. One question ever. Um, She obviously reads or searches or whatever and gets what she needs from it or submits yeah. her, who knows. She finds the way, but she's it all done. Um, And I said, can you come on to talk to me about joining Powerhouse? And the first thing she said was like, oh, I saw what you said about 16,000. No, my son won 67,000. <laughs> but and her son lived at home. Like it wasn't like he was a, so, <laughs> no, 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 he won 67. That, and I was like, wow. oh my God. And I think this is part of it. It's like, there's so many different, like members are from all over the world, from different backgrounds and doing it in different ways. Like the way that you described it, like, I love that. I love how it's like done so intentionally, so mindfully, so like, and then there's others that are like, I'm just going to get all done in a week and I'm done. <laughs> I know. And, they do. <laughs> and the thing is that you do, and it's, you can do it whatever way you want, you know? And I think that's yeah. the part is that we're here. And typically, I don't know, Laura, before you join, but when we first started the program for six six it used to be just six weeks of live calls so like after the sixth week then people didn't really get to join calls or they could post in the Facebook group and ask me questions but I just realized that people were doing it at a different pace I was like actually I need to do a call we need to do a call every week so that anybody who's in just gets that support and that's being so beautiful because it just yeah. means there's just this continuity and if you don't want to pop in and ask a question you can so yeah, yeah. that was a fun one with with, with <laughs> Oh, it's such a fun one. No, it's not 60. It was 67,000. <laughs> like, oh, okay. <laughs> I know. And I, I love that, you know, you don't feel that you get left behind either. Because when I had joined, um, your team were following up as well. Like, oh, Laura, we noticed you haven't submitted your um your thing for your, or done the questionnaire for your report yet. Is everything okay? And, you know, that was really nice. And it's just comforting to know that you're part of this community that you can dip in and out of whenever, you know, be as active or in inactive as you want. And that is a really lovely thing. And I tell you as well, sometimes, you know, I would look at posts on Facebook and I would be like, oh God, oh, I remember that name they joined around the same time as me. What, they've done what? And then I'd be, it would give me a kick up the bum to like, come on, Laura, you know, 
why why is this triggering you and it's it was because you know I wasn't sort of making the effort to do these things so it you know so interesting how it um, works in your mind and got me motivated anyway to just sort myself out I love it and it's just so like I think that's the other part is like um I was just saying to Ken I was like what's been so nice and I love doing these when we open the doors of powerhouse because I love hearing people and connecting with everyone but also being like you kind of get the feeling that you know you're meant to join like and that's it it's just like trusting that feeling oh 100 percent. I was going to say that as well um that you know anyone who's been participating this week and if what they've been doing has sort of spark something inside we all know that feeling it's a little bit of excitement or or you feel like it's, it's opened up a whole new world and that is a I would say that's a yes and just run with it and, and don't worry about too much about oh this is a big investment or how am I going to dedicate the time you know if you feel like you're being guided that way it just makes much more sense to just follow it and trust it because there's something within you that that knows it's right even though your mind might be questioning it if it feels expansive then just go for it it's it's if it doesn't and it's you know then you know it's a, a hard no but I you know people have got this far and they're watching us now then I'm sure it's probably a yes <laughs> You know what, the other thing what I just love is just talking to you and talking to this week Debbie and Kath and also um, Salome and I'm just like who wouldn't want to be in a community of these lovely women like you know everyone's energy is so nice and you know we really focus on support but uplifting and the wins and and like improving the program this is something that Kath pointed out like how this year we've completely updated the report and changed it around and added new things and and it's just the people in the community are so lovely like you know where in the world are you going to find a group that's everyone's like happy and positive and focusing on improving things you know yeah that's that's different to everything else that's going on outside yeah it, it was a lifesaver during covid you know to be part of groups like this because you know what it's like you are the sum of the people you spend the most time with you know and it's just a lovely escape to just embrace the positivity and I love your good news emails and all you know all this stuff is so important because it's easy to get sucked into all the nonsense that's going on in the world and you know we have a choice yeah we do we do um it's been so nice to chat to you oh my god I'm really excited for our interview next week so you've got you have a podcast as well now since well, yeah, I, I have a podcast too, but I have been quite inactive with that recently because I've been um, kind of rebranding and all the rest of it. And I decided to dedicate the start of this year to my new report and sorting out my environment, all the rest of it. So, yeah, exciting to see what kind of info, um, unfolds business wise going forward. So that's fun. Amazing, amazing. Congratulations. That's great. Well, I'm looking forward to chatting to you um, about that and all the feng shui stuff. Um, thank you so much, Laura. Is there anything else you'd like to share or that like that um, you know? Yeah, I just think I would just say you're going to benefit in some capacity by joining this program anyway. Like you said, Patricia, all the additional things that support it all, the the meditations, the the moon work that you do the astro guides all these things are really lovely and just being involved in some capacity does shift the needle and does make a difference to your life it might not all happen suddenly you might not be winning 67,000 you know overnight but you know small things small steps um it's got to be better than staying stuck and feeling frustrated where you might be currently so yeah you're gonna you're gonna benefit regardless where, of how involved you get oh it's beautiful yeah and that's what we see you know so it's beautiful thanks so much laura your screen's gone funny again it's so fun <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> it's amazing like wow she's gone to a different vortex <laughs> Forest tuned into something. Oh, what are you doing that? It's amazing. I'm like, that is so cool. I would love a bit of a <laughs> That's so cool. Um, thank you 
so much, Laura, for coming on and just sharing and um, send your our congratulations to your daughter. Like, tell her, well done. We're proud of her. All the powerhouse ladies are like, yes, so good, so good. And um, congratulations and good luck with everything with your business. Um, yeah, so thanks for coming, sharing. And I just can't wait to see what unfolds, you know, as you step more into this different type of business. You know, this is the this is the magic of this journey. Like so many people are in it for years that we just see such a an evolution and the growth and the flourishing of people, which is that's the joy. So um, I'm looking forward to hearing what unfolds for you. Oh, thank you so much. And thank you for this opportunity to share as well. It's been really fun. Thanks a million. Have a great day. And to everyone watching live, thank you so much for being here. This evening, we have our final session, which is all about the nine areas of your home. And um, we actually have an extra kind of surprise as well. So I'm excited about that. Um, and that's at 8 p.m. for our final session. And uh, yeah, doors are open for Powerhouse. If you'd like to speak to myself or one of the Powerhouse ambassadors, just drop us a message and we'll connect you. Um, and yeah, then you love the blog. Thanks a million, everyone. And thanks, Laura. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Uh...